Welcome, everybody, to Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs. And I'm David Woldigan. And right now, we want to take a look at just kind of the first seven games of the season for the St. Louis Blues and what we've noticed and uh, you know, what we think. Uh, before we get into that, please, guys, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, like the video, sign up for notifications for when we post more content, and then follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on X. Uh, David, you know, the Blues 3-3-1 three, three, and one to start the season, so, you know, perfectly average, I guess. Um, you know, what are your initial thoughts on this season? Uh, honestly, it's kind of baffling because they have their moments. Uh, they've had a couple of really good games and a couple just got awful. What are they doing type games? And yeah. a lot of it, ha- and a lot of it has to do with uh, the front office, not being able to do a whole lot to help the defensive side of things on the ice. So Barubi changed the style of play a little bit and our offensive minded forwards aren't being able to do what they normally do. And I think they're still trying to get used to the new system, honestly. Yeah, you know, I think that I think they are consistently inconsistent. Yeah. And, uh, you know, look no further than the start to the, the current road trip that'll continue Wednesday. It, great game in Calgary. Good, uh, good shutout win, followed by a game in Vancouver that was just a disaster. I, I think, I think you're going to see that. You have no idea what you're going to get from this Blues team. Uh, One night they may look like, hey, this team's not that far from challenging, you know, Dallas and Colorado. And then the next night you're thinking, hey, this team's not too far from challenging Chicago and Arizona for last. (laughs) Uh, You know, they're they're, they're not that far ahead of them (laughs) to begin with. Um, Uh, Sorry, it's just... (laughs) I mean, honestly, you, you, have, you have to laugh at it. Basically, anything with the blues, uh, it's just frustrating. I think uh, and, and the one I feel bad for is Bennington because he's really been playing lights oh, yeah. out, lights out for what's going on in front of him. Yeah, you can't ask for better from Jordan Bennington, not at all. Uh, you, you know, uh, you, you you hit the nail on the head. The front office really didn't make any moves to improve the defense. Well, I don't think they really could, though. That's the thing. With, yeah. the, sal- with the salary cap, their hands were kind of tied. Yeah, it was going to have to come uh, via trade uh, for a defenseman if they were going to do anything. Yeah, that, that didn't materialize. So Craig Berube, you know, to his credit, recognized that, you, you know, this is the talent level of, of this roster as constructed. Without some schematic change, this is going to be a club that gives up four goals a game, and we've seen it. There is a lot more emphasis on defense, and let's face it, it's come at the expense of the offense. Well, and I will say this to the team's credit. Last year, they went on this inevitable spiral and just couldn't get out of their funk, and you could tell it was weighing on the players and everything. This year – I think they were better mentally prepared and understand that, hey, you're going to have really bad games. But then they go, they they erase it from their memory, turn around and play a really good game. And that's where the inconsistencies, inconsistencies are coming from. But at the same time, it's kind of good that they're not spiraling and still turning out these good games. I see, I think a little bit more of a pessimistic outlook on that, that same situation. I kind of think it's as simple as they know they're not that good. So when 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 they when they lose, they're just kind of well. I that kind of figures. I, well, I, I, I think I they mean, recognize that they're not they're not uh, a likely playoff team. Well, and you can turn that leaf and forget about it and move on to your next yeah. game and do what you can to improve. I mean, there's something to be said about knowing what you are. So yeah. even if, whether it's positive or negative outlook, there's something to be said of hey. I mean, I know I played my best, and we're not letting this get out of control. Let's just continue to improve what we can improve and see how we can improve each game. Yeah, you, and you know, the defense is improved. Uh, you know, the Blues are not giving up 
you know, four goals here, four goals there, five, three. Yeah. You know, it, it the defense is better. Uh the penalty kill, you know, 80%, 14th in the league. So a little bit above average. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, it's still early enough that you know, one power play goal given up, it can change those numbers uh somewhat dramatically, but you know, right now 14th. So not bad. Meanwhile, but <laughs> me, meanwhile, our power play. Yeah, they may have declined the penalty. Is uh, that it was dead that, last? No, no. What, what what's the percentage of it? It's like point nine two four point eight. <laughs> Decline the penalty. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I. I well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a combination of you know, combination of not that much skill, and I, the team is so focused on defense that they 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 really have to change their like their entire approach to a game to be on a power play. Well, and power they're, play they're, is offense, right? So my, when you're so focused on defense, and then now you're in a two minute uh, set where you know. Obviously, you, you still play defense, but this is a time to go on the attack. It is a mindset change. And they're, I think they're, they're struggling with it. Their mindset on the offensive side of things is no silly turnovers and things like that. And when you're on a power play, you have to force some passes from time to time. And that's when they get caught, and that's when they get uh, pucks thrown down to the uh, ice or whatever you want to call it. Because really, it's a lot of just indecision of, oh, I should actually be attacking right now instead of like watching what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, this team, they, they've got to figure out a way to, to just score more. Right now, you know, what is it? Uh, seven games in, Brandon Sod is the only player with more than one goal. Well, that's, and that's not acceptable. They have, they have 14 goals scored and they've given up 20 of it here so far. Yeah, you know. Whereas whereas last year, even though they were losing a ton of games, they still were putting in a ton of goals at the same time. Yeah, and I I think it's a lack of depth on the team. You know, you have your your all star caliber guys, but then in my mind, it's just a drop off. You have guys who one day may be good, like a Toropchenko. Um, but it's 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 guys who are who are still figuring it out. Or like a just Jake not Neighbors. that good. Huh? You you have a Jake Neighbors in there too. Yeah. Yeah. So you got guys who might one day be good, but see, these guys, they need ex- quality veterans to kind of show them the way. And get help them get their footing and get established. Otherwise, they they're going to stay at that level. Uh, and the Blues, I don't think have that. And I think this is reflected in the uh, in the plus minus. At, I know plus minus is sometimes luck and is not that much of an indicator all the time. That said, you look at the Blues plus minus and when the captain Braden Shen is tied for the worst on the team at minus four Jordan Cairo is minus three uh, I believe Robert Thomas is in the minus a lot of the Blues best players are minus and when so many of them are I think that's a testament to the lack of depth uh, because Opposing teams just say, "All right, all right." There, there goes. Uh, you, you, you look at whatever, whatever line combination. You know, here's uh, Blues top line is out. Let's put our top uh, defensive pairing out. And meanwhile, they don't score because they're so focused on defense, and they're just not that good. But then the other team goes and scores. I, uh, you know, I. It's a problem of depth, combined with just the lack of offensive emphasis. Well, and with the system change and they're still learning the rules too, I think it all just kind of adds up. 
which yeah, is why you get, uh, and that's why you get that inconsistent play. Yeah. So uh, honestly, I, I think that's what you can expect uh, for this next stretch of games is a whole lot of ups and downs and random games out of nowhere where they look really good. And then games where you like the matchup on paper and then you go get dominated by Arizona. At the same time, at the same time, though, they're three and three, uh, three, three and one. If they can continue that 500 win loss record down the road, if they do figure things out, they might find themselves in a decent spot. Yeah, well, and see, that's the that's the ironic thing is this whole video has been negative. When you look at the standings, they're a point or two away from being, you know, third, fourth place, and they do have a game in hand. And I mean, this is it's really early to be talking standings, but for now, they're not that far off at all. Uh, but I do think the you know level of play, talent level, all that that's going to lead to that, that gap widening as the season continues. Yeah. Agreed. In the meantime, though, we'll try to keep you updated as they slog their way through the beginning of the season. Uh, I mean, it's hard to keep an eye on the blues quite honestly with everything else going on in St. Louis, but as the season moves on, we'll keep you updated with all things St. Louis. So make sure you keep an eye on us here at under yard sports.